As the free flow of traffic gradually returns to Apapa Expressway due to the evacuation of articulated trucks, the decongestion of the Apapa port has been identified as a lasting solution to the agonizing long queues of heavy vehicles in that corridor. Rashid Rashid was in Apapa to monitor the exercise. This is the Lily Pond Bridge axis of Apapa. Before now, the traffic in this area as experienced in other parts has been a nightmare for negotiations. But with the 72-hour evacuation order of Vice President Yemi Oshinibaju and 48-hour extension of the exercise by Governor Akil Miambodi, road users can now heave a sigh of relief. About a week now, we have a better flow of traffic on this place. We've seen that um, most times, especially during working hours, the, the trailers are no longer as congested as they used to be. I think the government is doing something about either them moving in the night or maybe when there's less um, traffic on this place. The success recorded so far may be temporary. Well, when they pass a tough uh, maneuver talk up there, so they will say oh, the bridge is blocked. And meanwhile, some talk are here for past three, two months that they are not going. And some, some are paying money at that, um, that Lamy garage and they are passing them to the bridge there. If you go to uh, going to Rabi, there we see some talk there parked there with uh, this traffic. So uh, those what are here, they did not go anywhere. The decongestion of a papa port was raised as a lasting solution to the gridlock. It's port in Bodako, there is other ports. Let other ports, when there is goods, when there is vessel, let them let there be diversion, let them divide it. We don't have um, places already where these trucks are going to be parking. I'm thinking the best thing is for them to be moving at night. Because from morning to evening, other people are going to work or people are coming back. But if they can make it like at least from 8 or 9, people are supposed to have gone back home. So that they will have enough time to enter into the port. Either they are coming out with their containers or they are returning um, empty containers. With Namasi finally returning to a Papa Expressway, the fear is that this may just be a temporary solution. The permanent solution, according to critical key players, is that this port must be decongested at all costs. Rashid Rashid, TVC News, Lagos.